Do you feel like you don't speak enough Polish? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the cooking conversation cheat sheet. Learn all the must know cooking phrases with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, our brand new visual flashcards. Want to speak more of the language? You'll need to learn more words. And with our new printable visual flashcards, you'll learn over 1,500. Just download and print them out. Third, can you talk about your favorite shows? Learn how to say no spoilers. What are you watching right now? And other useful words and phrases for video on demand. Fourth, what's your New Year's resolution? With this bonus phrase list, you'll learn to say, read more, save money, learn a language, and other common goals. Fifth, must know words and phrases for the new year. If you're learning the language and can't yet talk about the new year, then access this one minute vocabulary lesson. Sixth, looking for a new language learning app? With the innovative 101 app, you'll learn language fast and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just three to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download Innovative 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 55% off 24 month premium with our extended holiday deal. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Banan. Banana. Banan. Ba nan. Banana. Banany są bogate w potas. Bananas are rich in potassium. Banany są bogate w potas. Jabłko. Apple. Jabłko. Jabłko. Apple. Mogę zjeść to jabłko? Can I eat this apple? Mogę zjeść to jabłko? Winogrono. Grape. Winogrono. Wino grono. Grape. To winogrono wygląda na całkiem stare. That grape looks pretty old. To winogrono wygląda na całkiem stare. Arbus. Watermelon. Arbus. Arbus. Watermelon. Nietoperze zwisając z gałęzi jedzą arbuza. The buds are hanging from the branch, eating watermelon. Nietoperze zwisając z gałęzi jedzą arbuza. Ptak. Bird. Ptak. Ptak. Bird. Te ptaki 
są straszne. Those birds are scary. Te ptaki są straszne. Mysz. Mouse. Mysz. Mysz. Mouse. Ta mysz je winogrono. The mouse is eating a grape. Ta mysz je winogrono. Słońce. Sun. Słońce. Słońce. Sun. Słońce rozgrzewa gorącą pustynię. The sun is heating the hot desert. Słońce rozgrzewa gorącą pustynię. Pogoda. Weather. Pogoda. Pogoda. Weather. Szkoda, że pogoda jest brzydka. It's a pity the weather is bad. Szkoda, że pogoda jest brzydka. Stopień. Degree. Stopień. Stopień. Degree. Ile jutro będzie stopni? How many degrees will it be tomorrow? Ile jutro będzie stopni? Kobieta. Woman. Kobieta. Ko. Bieta. Woman. Jestem niezależną kobietą. I'm an independent woman. Jestem niezależną kobietą. Mężczyzna. Men. Mężczyzna. Mężczyzna. Men. Mężczyzna dostaje pieniądze. The man is receiving money. Mężczyzna dostaje pieniądze. Dziewczyna. Girlfriend. Dziewczyna. Dziewczyna. Girlfriend. Moja dziewczyna jest z Polski. My girlfriend is from Poland. Moja dziewczyna jest z Polski. Chłopak. Boyfriend. Chłopak. Chłopak. 
boyfriend. Robię tort urodzinowy dla mojego chłopaka. I'm making a birthday cake for my boyfriend. Robię tort urodzinowy dla mojego chłopaka. Pociąg. Train. Pociąg. Pociąg. Train. O której godzinie jest następny pociąg? What time is the next train? O której godzinie jest następny pociąg? Samolot. Airplane. Samolot. Samo. Lot. Airplane. Pasażerowie lecą samolotem. The passengers are flying on the airplane. Pasażerowie lecą samolotem. Autobus. Bus. Autobus. Auto. Bus. Bus. Czy ten autobus jedzie na lotnisko? Is this the right bus for the airport? Czy ten Autobus jedzie na lotnisko. Taksówka. Taksi. Taksówka. Taksówka. Taksi. Kobieta wsiadła do Taksówki. The woman is getting in a taxi. Kobieta wsiadła do taksówki. Szpinak. Spinacz. Szpinak. Szpinak. Spinacz. Szpinak jest bogaty w żelazo i wapń. Spinacz is rich source of iron and calcium. Spinak jest bogaty w żelazo i wapń. Delfin. 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 Delfin pływa w oceanie. The delfin is swimming in the ocean. Delfin pływa w oceanie. Kała marnica. Squid. Kała marnica. Kała marnica. Squid. Kała marnice pływają w pobliżu rafy koralowej. The squid are swimming near The coral reef. Kała marnice pływają w pobliżu rafy 
koralowej. Pies. Dog. Pies. Pies. Dog. Czy to jest twój pies? Is that your dog? Czy to jest twój pies? Kot, cat. Kot. Kot. Cat. Mój kot lubi spać po południu. My cat likes to sleep in the afternoon. Mój kot lubi spać po południu. Chomik. Hamster. Chomik. Chomik. Hamster. Chomiki lubią spać w dzień. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Chomiki lubią spać w dzień. Ciepły. Warm. Ciepły. Ciepły. Warm. Lubię ten koc, bo jest ciepły. I like this blanket because it's warm. Lubię ten koc, bo jest ciepły. Deszcz. Rain. Deszcz. Deszcz. Rain. Lubię letni deszcz. I like the summer rain. Lubię letni deszcz. Pomidor. Tomato. Pomidor. Pomidor. Tomato. Wielu Polaków hoduje własne pomidory. Many Polish people grow their own tomatoes. Wielu Polaków hoduje własne pomidory. Truskawka. Strawberry. Truskawka. Truskawka. Strawberry. Wezmę lody waniliowe zamiast truskawkowych. I will take vanilla ice cream instead of strawberry. Wezmę lody waniliowe zamiast truskawkowych. Wiśnia. Cherry. Wiśnia. Wiśnia. Cherry. Chcę zjeść wiśnie. I want to eat cherries. Chcę zjeść wiśnie. Dziecko. Child. Dziecko. Dziecko. Child. Dziecko musi się zdrzemnąć. The child needs to take a nap. Dziecko musi się zdrzemnąć. Kolega. Friend. 
kolega. Kolega. Friend. Mój kolega jest reżyserem. My friend is a movie director. Mój kolega jest reżyserem. Dorosły. Adult. Dorosły. Dorosły. Adult. Nie chcę być dorosła, bo to nudne. I don't want to become an adult because it's boring. Nie chcę być dorosła, bo to nudne. Rower. Bicycle. Rower. Rower. Bicycle. Ten rower jest bardzo tani. This bicycle is very cheap. Ten rower jest bardzo tani. Samochód. Car. Samochód. Samochód. Car. Jan kupił nowy samochód. John bought a new car. Jan kupił nowy samochód. Motocykl. Motorcycle. Motocykl. 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 On ma dwa samochody i motocykl. He has two cars and a motorcycle. On ma dwa samochody i motocykl. Skuter. 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 Skutery są coraz bardziej popularne. Scooters are more and more popular. Skutery są coraz bardziej popularne. Łódź. Boat. Łódź. Łódź. Boat. Łódź płynie po wodzie. The boat is moving through the water. Łódź płynie po wodzie. Meduza. Jellyfish. Meduza. Meduza. Jellyfish. Meduzy unoszą się w wodzie. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. Meduzy unoszą się w wodzie. Homar. Lobster. Homar. Homar. Lobster. Homar siedzi na skale. The lobster is on the rock. Homar siedzi na skale. Krab. 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 
Dwa kraby idą po skale. The two crabs are walking on the rock. Dwa kraby idą po skale. Żółw. Turtle. Żółw. Żółw. Turtle. Żółw morski pływa w morzu. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. Żółw morski pływa w morzu. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to get back on track after language learning failure. If you've ever made language learning a goal, you've also likely experienced failure. Maybe you quit studying for some time. Maybe you came back to try again later. But how do you bounce back after failing? Well, it might be easier than you think. In this episode, you'll discover one, the key points to consider after failing a goal, and two, the steps to getting back on track with language learning. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, the cooking conversation cheat sheet. Learn all the must-know cooking phrases with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, our brand new visual flashcards. Want to speak more of the language? You'll need to learn more words. And with our new principal visual flashcards, you'll learn over 1,500 words. Just download and print them out. Third, can you talk about your favorite shows? Learn how to say no spoilers. What are you watching right now? And other useful words and phrases for video on demand. Fourth, what's your New Year's resolution? With this bonus phrase list, you'll learn to say read more, save money, learn a language, and other common goals. Fifth, must know words and phrases for the new year. If you're learning the language and can't yet talk about the new year, then access this one minute vocabulary lesson. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to get back on track after language learning failure. So, how do you get back on track with language learning after failing? Think back to your school days. Did you ever miss a homework assignment? Most of us did. You'd have to make it up and do the next one. You had to double up on your work. So, if you've ever missed a goal, you might be tempted to do the same thing. Finish your old goal and achieve a new one. However, that might not be such a good idea. A key point to remember after failing a goal is don't set the same goal again. Let's explain why. One, if you failed the goal before, there's a good chance that the goal might be too much for you. In that case, you'll want an easier goal. Two, you need to give yourself a chance to succeed. And if that requires setting a super easy goal that you actually can reach, then so be it, do that. For example, if you tried to learn 100 words in one month and failed, but you want to try again, go for something smaller, like 20 words. Between trying and failing the 100-word goal again or reaching a smaller 20-word goal, you're much better off with the 20-word goal. It'll be better for your motivation to hit a super easy goal instead of failing multiple times in a row. It'll get you back in motion with language learning. Now that you know how to get back on track, here are some steps you can take. One. Think back to the last language goal you set and failed. Was it last year's New Year's resolution? And was it something like, I just want to be fluent, or I want to speak the language? You can let us know what your old goal was in the comments. Two, aim for a smaller, more realistic goal. With that last goal in mind, think about how you might make a new, easier goal. Remember, your goal should always be one, small, Two, measurable, for example, one minute of conversation, 100 words, 10 grammar rules, 10 lessons, etc. And three, have a small time frame with a deadline. In other words, it's a goal for the week or for the month, and the deadline is January 31st, for example. 
So if your failed goal was to just speak fluently, aim for something smaller. Set a goal like, I wanna speak for one minute this month, or I wanna be able to introduce myself by the end of this week, or I want to master the alphabet by the end of this week, and schedule a deadline for yourself. All of these goals are small, measurable, specific, and easy to achieve. You'll easily know if you've reached one minute of speaking, if you've learned the alphabet, or learned how to say, my name is, in the language you're studying. So now that you have a goal, three, find a way to fit language learning into your life. Instead of creating new routines that you may have trouble sticking with, work with what you already have, your existing routines. If you already spend 10 minutes on chores in the morning, you can listen to a lesson and learn a bit of language. If you take a walk, you can listen to a lesson then. If you watch YouTube for an hour in the evening, you can spend five or 10 minutes watching one of our lessons. Piggybacking off of your existing daily routines is the easiest way to introduce language learning into your life. Okay, now let's talk about learning material. Four, get back on track with easy learning material. An easy way to restart learning is with our audio and video lessons. All you have to do is hit play and follow along. And if you have to, you can multitask. For example, as we mentioned, you can be doing chores and listening in. Taking steps like these can help you form study habits. It's a lot easier to listen and do what you usually do, as opposed to buying a textbook, setting aside time, sitting down, and trying to go through it, especially if you're not used to learning a language. Finally, another very easy thing you can do is take advantage of our word of the day lessons. These are daily emails that teach you one new word a day. The goal of these emails is to get you used to learning and create a simple routine. If you can stick with spending one quick minute every day learning a new word, then you can grow to stick with almost any other routine. So to recap, we often fail and give up on our goals because we overwhelm ourselves. Whether it's with an unrealistic goal, a heavy routine, or complicated resources, you want to do the opposite. Avoid overwhelming yourself. If you failed a goal before, aim for a smaller goal. Avoid heavy learning routines and piggyback off of your existing daily routines. If you take a walk, then use that time to listen to audio lessons. And finally, use easy learning material, such as our audio and video lessons on our website. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to adjust your routine and learn language from home. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. What if you could go from struggling to speak to speaking with confidence? Reviewing is a huge part of achieving this. In this video, you'll learn six ways our language learning program helps you review. Number one, replay your lessons. If you're using our language learning program, you can download lessons and review them at a later date. And since lessons are three to 15 minutes long, your preparation and review sessions won't take a lot of time. The easiest way to review is to simply replay past lessons. Of course, make sure you pay attention. Number two, read the lesson notes. Imagine you've finished reading a big book or watching a video course. Do you remember everything you've learned? Of course not. When you get a lot of information at one time, it's normal not to be able to recall all of it immediately. But you can refresh your memory by going back to reread, rewatch, and take notes. It takes effort. This is why you get lesson notes with every lesson. These notes give you the lesson in writing, so you can review the conversation, the vocabulary, grammar, and cultural points quickly. Number three, listen to lines from the lesson conversation with the dialogue tool. The dialogue tool is a premium feature that our users love because you get line by line breakdowns of conversations. For every line of the conversation, you get audio, the transcript, and the translations. This tool helps you master entire conversations, speak faster, and improve your listening. You can listen to each line one by one, read along, and repeat out loud. Repeating out loud will help your speaking skills. And because you can listen as much as you want, you can also use this tool to work on your listening skills. Number four, the vocabulary slideshow. 
With this, you can review words and phrases from a specific lesson. Just press play and watch the slideshow. For each word, you'll hear the native pronunciation. You'll also get the meaning, the text, and translations right there on the screen. You can even put the slideshow on loop to review as much as you want. Number five, practice your speaking skills with the voice recorder. With the voice recorder tool, you can record yourself and compare your speech to that of native speakers. This can help you find out where you can improve your speaking skills. It's a great way to practice speaking and perfect your pronunciation. Number six, review conversations with the dialogue audio track. The dialogue track gives you just the conversation. It's purely the target language, no translations. You get it for every lesson. Listen to it again and again until you completely understand every single word. This is a great way to see how much you understand and it's a great language immersion tactic. Want to learn new words and phrases fast so you can speak and understand more of your target language? In this video, you'll learn all about spaced repetition flashcards. You'll learn about why this particular study tool is so useful and how using it can help keep vocabulary words fresh in your mind. First, here's what's new with our flashcards. You can now access your flashcards on any mobile device. They're mobile responsive. So visit the site on any device, iPhone, iPad, Android, or any tablet. Access the flashcards and learn anywhere, anytime. But what if you're a new language learner and have never seen this tool before? Second, what are spaced repetition flashcards? What are they? And how do spaced repetition flashcards teach you words and phrases better than regular flashcards? First, imagine a regular flashcard. Imagine a teacher is quizzing you with paper flashcards. On the front, you see the word in the target language. The meaning of the word is on the other side. Your teacher shows you the target language word and asks you what the word means. If you get the answer right, your teacher puts the card in a pile of correct answer cards. If you get the answer wrong, your teacher puts the card in a pile of wrong answer cards. Spaced repetition flashcards are like a digital version of this, but a computer sorts your answers into correct answers and wrong answers, and then chooses which cards to quiz you on accordingly. With a spaced repetition flashcard, you see a word. You mark whether you know it or not. You learn whether you are right or wrong. Then you get the next word. But what exactly is spaced repetition? Third, how spaced repetition works. This is the part of the tool that makes the flashcard so powerful. If you get a word wrong, you'll see that card more often until you get it right. The card will keep popping up until you remember the answer. Spaced repetition flashcards help you focus on the words you don't know yet or the words you're weak with instead of asking you to review words you already know well. If you get a word right, you'll see that word again in perhaps two days. If you get the word right again after waiting two days, you might see the word four days later, then 16 days later, and so on. As you study and remember words, the flashcards will appear less frequently. This is because you're remembering the vocabulary and don't need to spend time studying the words you already know. Spaced repetition flashcards help you study words at the right time. The flashcards will track your progress. This means you don't have to remember which words you got right or wrong. The flashcards you are quizzed on will be customized to your knowledge level every time you study. And the quizzes will also help you keep your memory fresh. Remember, we don't learn things simply by seeing them once. By repeating our studies over a period of time, we remember things better. And the best part is that you can study vocabulary and phrases in just a few minutes a day. So if you're on the train or bus going to work, you can put that time to use. Take out your phone and learn new words. Just a couple minutes every day will help you learn new words fast. A common question that first-time language learners ask is, where do I begin? Classically, the answer to this is, with guidance. Finding the right teacher can be tricky, especially online. There are a lot of options to choose from. We've got one we'll tell you about. In this video, we'll show you how our Premium Plus learning option can provide you with guidance to help you reach your language learning goals. Our Premium Plus study tools are designed to support and guide learners. There's access to thousands of lessons, a voice recording tool, and spaced repetition flashcards. Most importantly, Premium Plus users get a personal language instructor who can provide weekly assignments. Let's talk about these items in detail. Number one, gain unlimited access to audio and video lessons. 
As a Premium Plus member, you'll have full access to the lesson library and other premium features. Best of all, you're not limited to one level, and you can learn to your heart's content with upper-level courses. There are lessons on various topics that tackle crucial language learning elements like reading, writing, listening, speaking, and conversation. More specifically, there are pathways. Pathways are collections of lessons that focus on a specific topic. Some pathways are even geared towards proficiency tests. There are also pathways in the lesson library to help you prepare for certain events, such as speaking at a restaurant, buying a ticket, or making friends. One of the most helpful is the top 25 questions you need to know pathway, which can help you in your everyday life. Each lesson has lesson notes to read while you listen to the audio lesson. This will help you follow along with key points. Lesson notes generally contain the dialogue, new vocabulary, the target grammar points, and cultural insights based on the dialogue. Podcasts and lesson notes are available on the Innovative Language app, so you can also learn on the go. Number two, practice speaking with the voice recording tool. Pronunciation is an important part of language learning. Proper pronunciation ensures understanding during conversations with native speakers. Many learners think speaking is one of the most challenging components of learning a language. To help with this, the voice recording tool is a great way to improve speaking skills. Lesson dialogues are spoken by native speakers, so you can record yourself repeating after them to practice speaking naturally. Your Premium Plus teacher can assign you tasks to help you progress with any new sounds you might be learning. For these assignments, your teacher can listen to your voice recordings of the sounds and help you learn how to pronounce them. Completing these tasks under the guidance of your teacher can help you boost your confidence in speaking. This feature is also available for vocabulary words and sample sentences. Being able to hear these recordings improves pronunciation skills, especially when incorrect intonation can change the meaning of a word entirely. The voice recorder examines your speed and tone. Don't forget to also follow up by sending a recording to your Premium Plus teacher for feedback. Number three. Increase your vocabulary with spaced repetition flashcards and more. One of the best ways to learn vocabulary is with spaced repetition flashcards. Spaced repetition is a system designed for learning something new and reviewing it in varying time intervals. You can create and study flashcard decks, whether from your word bank or a specific vocabulary list. For example, if you need to visit a post office, the post office vocabulary list for your target language would be beneficial to study prior to your visit. Premium Plus offers various features to expand learners' vocabulary, including free gifts of the month, such as the 400 Everyday Phrases for Beginners ebook. Find opportunities to use them with your teachers, friends, or classmates. For even more practice, each lesson has a vocabulary slideshow and a quiz to review the lesson's vocabulary. There's also the 2000 core word list, which includes the most commonly used words in your target language. Starting from the 100 core word list, you'll gradually build up your knowledge of useful vocabulary. These lists can be studied with spaced repetition flashcards, too. With the flashcards, you can change the settings to your liking. The settings range from different card types to number of new cards per deck. Give yourself vocabulary tests by changing the settings. After studying a number of flashcards, change the card types to listening comprehension. You can then test yourself by writing the translation of the word or the spoken word or phrase. Changing your settings allows you to remember vocabulary and learn how to identify the words. This can be especially helpful when learning to recognize new characters in certain languages. Number four, get your own personal language teacher. Your language teacher will work with you and your goals to create a personalized and achievable study path. Once you share a short-term or a long-term goal with your teacher, you can establish a plan or pathway to lead to success. Coordinate with your teacher regularly to ensure the personalized learning programs are still working for you. If not, you can always change it up. There are so many ways your Premium Plus teacher can help you. If you have a speech you need to write, they can help you come up with the right way to say what you want to say. If there's something you need help translating, your teacher can lend you a hand. Or if there is a specific movie or song you want to consume in your target language, your teacher can gear your lessons to help you achieve your goal. Being in planes, trains, and buses can be an uncomfortable experience for many people. Often there are small, cramped seats, not many things to do, and sometimes the experience is even scary. Despite this, you often see people working in these environments. How do they do it? 
In this video, you'll learn three tips to help you be able to study anywhere. The first one is adjust to your environment. Most of us would probably agree that a plane or a bus is not the best place to study. These environments are usually dark and cramped, and you may have a crying baby next to you. But the point is, there's never a perfect time or place to learn. The reality is that a lot of us use transportation every day. We face environments that are typically considered unsuitable for study. Trains get crowded. You can't do much in your car. Even in your own home, you'll get distracted by the TV or Facebook or something. And some days you'll be sick. You'll be tired. You'll have dinner plans. Once you accept that there's rarely such a thing as the perfect time to study, you can start thinking about how to make the best of the environment you have at that time. For example, if you ride a train, you might stand up for a long time. It might be difficult to focus on a book. In a case like this, you can use the Innovative Language 101 app to study, listen to the audio lessons, or do the word of the day by email. There are ways that you can learn in just about any situation. The point is, you need to adjust your study method to your environment. So take a look at your day and see where your time goes. Are there any gaps in between your activities where you feel like you can't study? And is there any way you can adjust? Two, take advantage of your limited time. We've surveyed tons of learners over the years, and every year we find that the number one reason most people don't learn a language is they say they have no time. But there's a chance you may have some spare time to study. You might just not recognize it yet. Let's say you commute for 30 minutes every day. You can ask yourself, how do I put these next 30 minutes to use? Or if you finish work at 7 p.m. and spend an hour doing nothing, you can think about what you might do in that hour that will help you work towards your goals. You don't have to use all 30 minutes of your commute or the full hour of your free time, but you can definitely fit in a short lesson or take other steps towards your goals. Three, have an on and off mindset. When you work, it can be really helpful to have a kind of on-off switch for when it's time to work and time to rest. You can apply the same idea to your language studies. When it's time to study, you can focus solely on that. You don't spend time thinking about doing it, you just do it. It doesn't matter where you are or what kind of studying you're doing, as long as it gets done. And when you're done with a lesson, reward yourself. It can be as simple as telling yourself, great job. When you're finished with the time you promised yourself for studies, feel free to focus on the next thing. Want to learn your target language for free? Then get our language gifts of the month right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Getting Sick Conversation Cheat Sheet. Are you able to describe your symptoms in your target language? If not, download our new conversation sheet and learn must-know words and phrases for the doctor. Second, the Language Learning Starter Pack PDF eBook. If you're new to the language, do you know what words to learn first? With this eBook, you'll get over 70 basic words and phrases that beginners need to know. Start with these words first. Download it right now. Third, can you talk about economics in your target language? Learn how to say profit, demand, taxes, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, 30 must-know opposite nouns. Learn how to say day and night, question and answer, and much more. You'll pick up over 30 words with this vocab bonus. Fifth, free audiobooks for our members only. If you're not a member yet, sign up for a free lifetime account and unlock our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 35% off premium or premium plus with the power up sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when talking on the phone. After watching this video, you'll be able to ask for someone on the phone and to put someone on hold. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Making a Phone Call PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases.
Listen to the dialogue. Dzień dobry. Chciałbym rozmawiać z osobą odpowiadającą. Oczywiście. Chwileczkę. Once more with the English translation. Dzień dobry. Chciałbym rozmawiać z osobą odpowiadającą. Hello. I'd like to speak with the person in charge. Oczywiście. Chwileczkę. Okay. Just a moment. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say hello on the phone. That's... Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Then, you'll need to learn how to say, I'd like to speak with person. The pattern is... Chciałbym rozmawiać z... Person. For example, hello, I'd like to speak with the person in charge. Dzień dobry. Chciałbym rozmawiać z osobą odpowiadającą. Dzień dobry. Chciałbym rozmawiać z osobą odpowiadającą. Now, how do you answer this question? Oczywiście. Chwileczkę. Okay, just a moment. Listen to it again. Oczywiście. Chwileczkę. Oczywiście. Chwileczkę. This Polish sentence literally translates as, of course, just a moment. But it means, okay, just a moment. Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to talk on the phone. The person in charge. Osoba odpowiadająca. Osoba odpowiadająca. A sales representative. Przedstawiciel handlowy. Przedstawiciel handlowy. The manager. 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 Customer service. Obsługa klienta. Obsługa klienta. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Chciałbym rozmawiać z przedstawicielem handlowym. Oczywiście, chwileczkę. Chciałbym rozmawiać z menedżerem. Oczywiście, chwileczkę. Chciałbym rozmawiać z obsługą klienta. Oczywiście, chwileczkę. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, I'd like to speak with person? Chciałbym rozmawiać z... Person. And how do you answer it? Oczywiście. Chwileczkę. Imagine you want to talk to a sales representative. Do you remember how to say a sales representative? Przedstawiciel handlowy. Przedstawiciel handlowy. Say, I'd like to speak with a sales representative. Chciałbym rozmawiać z przedstawicielem handlowym. Now say you want to talk to a sales representative and answer it. Chciałbym rozmawiać z przedstawicielem handlowym. Oczywiście, chwileczkę. Now, imagine you want to talk to the manager. Do you remember how to say the manager? Manager. Manager. Say, I'd like to speak with the manager. Chciałbym rozmawiać z menedżerem. 
Now say you want to talk to the manager and answer it. Chciałbym rozmawiać z menedżerem. Oczywiście, chwileczkę. Now imagine you want to talk to customer service. Do you remember how to say customer service? Obsługa klienta. Obsługa klienta. Say, I'd like to speak with customer service. Chciałbym rozmawiać z obsługą klienta. Now say you want to talk to customer service and answer it. Chciałbym rozmawiać z obsługą klienta. Oczywiście, chwileczkę. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is the power of textbooks and digital detox. In this digital age where we're all using apps and smartphones to learn languages, you might not think of a textbook as the first resource to turn to, right? But if you're avoiding textbooks, then you're missing out on some powerful language learning benefits. So today you'll learn why textbooks are still a powerful resource in the digital age, why some, but not all, digital resources might hurt your ability to learn, and how to do a digital detox and learn off screen with our program. And we're giving away a brand new conversation cheat sheet, so keep watching. But first, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Getting Sick Conversation Cheat Sheet. Are you able to describe your symptoms in your target language? If not, download our new conversation sheet and learn must-know words and phrases for the doctor. Second, the Language Learning Starter Pack PDF eBook. If you're new to the language, do you know what words to learn first? With this ebook, you'll get over 70 basic words and phrases that beginners need to know. Start with these words first. Download it right now. Third, can you talk about economics in your target language? Learn how to say profit, demand, taxes, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, 30 must know opposite nouns. Learn how to say day and night, question and answer, and much more. You'll pick up more than 30 words with this vocab bonus. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. The power of textbooks and digital detox. You probably have some language learning apps on your phone, right? But do you have any textbooks? Let us know in the comment section. Digital resources like apps and physical resources like books have their pros and cons. But if you're learning with digital resources only, you might be missing out on some benefits that come with physical resources. What are they? First, a digital detox. This is a basic one. A textbook gives you a break from the screen. You're not sitting in front of so much blue light all day, which can have an impact on your sleep. That's just for your overall health. Second, the ability to focus and improve your focus. Here's a question for you. How long is your attention span? Five minutes, 10 minutes? The thing is, attention and the ability to focus are crucial for learning and succeeding with any goal in life. But if you're learning on a device, you'll get pop-ups and notifications. If you're on YouTube, well, the algorithm will have you watching cat videos soon enough. These things are designed to keep you jumping from one thing to the next, and all of this hurts your attention span and your ability to learn. With a book, it's much easier to focus, and consistently learning with one can help improve your focus. Third, if the book has a really good story to follow, it makes it more fun to learn. This may not be something you can find in every textbook, but you can find it in textbook resources like bilingual storybooks. Fourth, you get a clear path to follow. Textbooks give you a linear path from page one to 100. You know where to go next, how far you are from the end, and what you have left to learn. 
With an app, you'll be forever swiping and not really knowing if you're getting anywhere. Fifth, textbooks have gone through academic rigor, meaning they've been made by teachers or checked by teachers. So you're learning the correct forms, the correct language, and you can rely on it to be accurate. If you Google for blogs about phrases to learn, there's a chance the information is not completely accurate. Sixth, textbook lessons are curated and organized so that what you learn on page one helps you understand page two and so on. It builds you up and teaches you crucial language skills that beginners need to know, like how to introduce yourself first, then how to grow that conversation. As an added bonus, you can write in them. What about the downsides of textbooks? There are a few. The content gets old fast. Language always changes. There's new slang. So that's where digital lessons do well. Also, books can get boring and overwhelming. An approach you can consider for a textbook is to put in a certain amount of time, say 20 or 30 minutes a day, and then walk away so you're not overwhelmed. But by providing a digital detox, allowing us a framework for focus, offering reduced distractions, being easy to follow and accurate, textbooks are powerful in a digital world. So, should you go for digital detox and get a textbook? If you can handle a bit of change to your routine, then why not? If you're worried about learning the same thing from two sources, don't worry. Learning something like a grammar rule from multiple angles will only help you understand it better and reinforce your memory. A book will give you a clear direction of where to go, what to learn, and challenge your mind in ways that digital lessons might not. So, how do you do a digital detox and learn with our program? First, you can print out our extensive reading books. Extensive reading is a learning tactic where you read books that are appropriate for your level, and the goal is quantity over quality. You should read a lot and skip over the words you don't know. To access these, just visit the lesson library to find our extensive reading books. Second, download our PDF lesson notes and print them out. The lesson notes give you the lesson in writing, the dialogue, the vocab, grammar explanations, sample sentences, and cultural insights. Find the lesson notes in every one of your lessons. Third, use our printable visual flashcards. With these, you'll learn over 1,500 of the most common words. If you want the link to the visual flashcards, just leave a comment and we'll reply with it. Fourth, you can also use our printable conversation cheat sheets. With these, you'll learn words and phrases for the most common conversation topics. If you want the link to our collection of cheat sheets, again, leave a comment and we'll reply with it. Remember, the ultimate goal here is to go for a digital detox, challenge your brain in a new way, and try new resources. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to start conversations, talking points for language learners. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Have you ever started learning a language but just couldn't continue? Why does this happen? And what do successful language learners do differently? In this video, we're going to talk about why you should put your language learning on autopilot. We asked you, and the number one reason people don't continue is time. Either you don't make the time for learning or you're just too busy. But a lot of the time, this is caused by the resources you're using. If you've downloaded five language apps and bought two books, you'll get overwhelmed about where to start and what to do next. So what do successful language learners do? Successful learners don't overwhelm themselves thinking, what should I do today? They put their learning on autopilot. Imagine this. Let's say you have a favorite TV show. A new episode comes out every Tuesday. So you know what you're doing on Tuesday night. You don't have to think about it. You don't need a reminder, it's automatic. Every Tuesday, you watch an episode. You make it into a habit. Now, how do we apply that to language learning? First, habits. If you have a habit of learning, then you're already on autopilot. So, set a small, measurable, monthly goal with a deadline, like learn 100 words or do 30 lessons by the end of the month. Once you know your goal, you can backtrack. So, for example, divide 100 words by 30 days in a month, and you get 3.33. So you should learn about three words a day. Now you know what to do. 
three words a day. There's no confusion. Do those three words and you're done. You don't need to think about what you should be doing because you already know what you're doing. It becomes a habit. The second way to stay on autopilot is with language textbooks. This is basically just because books are sequential. You just follow the pages from one until the end. You don't have to think about where to go next, so it's easy to stay on track with what you need to do. Third, the word of the day. Every day you get a new word in your email inbox automatically. You don't have to think about it. Simply check your email, learn a word, and you're done. The fourth way is with our progress tracking tools. They spoon feed you lessons one by one. So let's say you've finished lesson one where you learned greetings, then you automatically load up lesson two where you learn a basic conversation that uses the greetings you learned in lesson one. Then you have lesson three and four and so on. You don't have to worry about what to do next because our dashboard will keep you on track. It'll even build upon what you learned in your previous lesson so you won't forget it. The point is to put your learning on autopilot. You need something that guides you from A to B to C, whether it's your own habits or a book that takes you from one to 100 or a learning program that feeds you lessons. So take one of these tips and apply it today. So to put your learning on autopilot, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share this video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Are you focused on active language learning or passive language learning? And which is the best way to learn? In this video, you'll learn the difference between active and passive learning and some methods for each. Do you know the difference between active and passive learning? You'll find out the differences between these two. First, the difference between active and passive learning. Here's the difference. Active learning means you're actively engaging with learning material and focusing on it. For example, you're reading in your target language, you're looking up words, you're translating, you're memorizing phrases, or you're speaking out loud. So you're focused on what you're learning and you're really into it. Now, passive learning is different. It requires less concentration. It's usually done when you're doing something else. For example, doing chores, driving to work, or taking the train. You could be listening to an audio lesson or watching a video lesson. But the difference is you're not focused on picking apart every word. You're just passively taking the language in. What about you? How do you usually learn? Do you have a lot of active practice? A lot of passive practice? Do you have a combination? Let us know in the comments. Second, how you can learn both ways with our lessons. If you do a lot of passive learning, say because you're always on the go, then here are four simple tactics you can apply right now. One, press play on a lesson and just listen or watch, just like you would with YouTube. So if you're at home with your computer on, press play on a lesson and take it in. Two, now if you're outside, if you're going to the store or commuting, you can learn with our free Innovative Language 101 app for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. Again, open a lesson, press play, and that's it. If you want to passively review words and phrases, then check out the vocabulary slideshow tool. This premium study tool is available on every lesson and vocab list. Just press play, and with every slide, you'll get the word, the audio pronunciation, the translation, and sample sentences. You can even put the slideshow on loop and immerse yourself that way. And third, if you have an Amazon Echo device, then you can immerse yourself with daily audio lessons or you can learn with the quick word of the day. You can just play a lesson and keep it in the background while you're at home. Just look for Daily Dose by Innovative Language on the Amazon Skill Store and download it for free. Now, if you're looking for some active learning practice and you have some time to concentrate, here are five tactics you can use right now. Number one, listen or watch a lesson and read along with the translations. You'll get complete translations in the lesson notes and the line-by-line -line dialogue. This will make your reading and listening skills skyrocket. The best part is you'll understand every single word. The translations are right in front of you. Number two, repeat the lesson dialogue as you hear it. This is called shadowing and it will boost your speaking skills. Just repeat the lines that you hear until you can speak with confidence. To make it even easier, you can also get the lines in the dialogue study tool and in the lesson notes, so you can read them out loud as you hear them in the lesson. 
Number three, record yourself with our voice recorder in the dialogue study tool to perfect your pronunciation and see how close you are to a native speaker. Number four, if you want to boost your vocabulary, study words with our smart flashcards. They sort the words for you, so you get the harder words more often until you master them. And the easy ones show up now and then to refresh your memory. And number five, ask questions and practice. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you're a Premium Plus user, you get your very own teacher, and you can ask them to review and correct your writing and speaking. You can also ask for learning advice and get all of your questions answered. Both are great ways to learn, but which one is best? Well, that depends on you. If you have some quiet time to focus, active learning is best. But if you're on the train and you're multitasking, then passive learning is the better option. Whichever you choose, you can apply both with our language learning program. So, to test out active and passive learning, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Every language learner wants to speak with confidence, without struggling, and without stopping to think of words. So how do you do this? In this video, you'll learn five tactics to perfect your speaking. Above all, every learner wants to speak in their target language with confidence. We've run survey after survey, year after year, and the results are the same. Listening, reading, and writing are all important, but people want to improve their speaking the most. So how do you perfect your speaking skills? First, shadow the dialogues you hear in the lessons. What is shadowing? It's a learning technique where you mimic native speakers. In other words, you listen and then you repeat what they say. This is a fast and easy way to start practicing speaking. You can do this with any one of our audio or video lessons. And even easier, if you have access to the dialogue section, you can read along out loud as you listen. So shadow as much as possible to perfect your speaking and try harder lessons to take yourself to the next level. Second, read the dialogue out loud. We just mentioned this in tip one, but this tactic deserves its own special mention. Reading out loud is another easy way to practice your speaking. Simply read the lesson dialogue that's available in the dialogue section, the lesson notes, or the lesson transcript. By reading out loud, you're practicing your speaking skills. And here's a trick. If you can get yourself to read faster, you'll be able to speak faster too. Natives tend to speak quickly, and if you can too, that's a sign that you're improving. Third, record yourself speaking to perfect your pronunciation. If you're a Premium or Premium Plus member, look for the voice recorder in the dialogue section. With this tool, you can record yourself and compare your speaking to a native speaker. This is powerful because you instantly hear the difference between your speech and the authentic native pronunciation. And then you can easily perfect your speaking and pronunciation. If you don't have a premium account, record yourself with your smartphone. And while you can't really compare, you can spot where you struggle or stutter. This tactic is used by professional speakers, public speakers, just about anyone that has to give a presentation. Fourth, if you're a Premium Plus member, record yourself and send it to your Premium Plus teacher for feedback. Here, you're getting instant feedback from a native speaker. They'll point out your mistakes, they'll tell you what to improve and how, and record themselves and work with you until you reach perfection. That's the power of having a native speaker give you feedback. So what do people usually record? Here's an easy one. Record a one paragraph self intro. In fact, we ask all of our new members to do this. Give your name, your age, where you're from, why you're learning, and that's it. It's a great way to get started. Our more advanced students talk about their day. They send three recordings, in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. For example, I woke up at 7 a.m. and brushed my teeth. I got ready for work. My train was a little late, and so on. This can dramatically improve your speaking because you're practicing conversations that people have all the time. The fifth way to perfect your speaking, Premium Plus Assignments. With this feature, you get weekly assignments based on your needs and goals, whether they're reading, writing, listening, or speaking. If you want to improve your speaking, your Premium Plus teacher will send you speaking assignments nonstop, every week, and provide you with constant feedback. This is all part of your personalized learning experience. 
So take advantage of our tools and put these tactics to use. And remember, if you want to master your language with our complete language learning program, now's your chance. So to test out these tips and start speaking now, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.